and diggers. Well, we're back at Melksham today. Um, come here the other day, had a few bits up. There was a Roman and there was a uh, ring and some other bits and pieces. So we've decided to come back over different fields. But anyway, it should be good. And um, hopefully we'll see you at the first hole. Well, first dig of the day, look. And straight on to a, uh, an electrical box here, look. You know, and this is why you've got to be so careful um, what you're digging. You hit that with a spade, especially with a R spade, you're going to end up killing yourself. But anyway, yeah, I'm not dead at the minute, and I'll let you know if I will die. Anyway, on to the next. Well, just come up with a pistol shot here, or it could be a musket ball, but I'm thinking pistol, pist pistol shot. What do you think? Pistol shot, maybe? Yeah, about 10, 15 minutes in. A bit of tin about one four oler so anyway onwards and upwards well I don't usually go mad on half pennies but this one is exceptional and the condition of it is fantastic it's 1920 it's George V um, on the other side both sides are just immaculate it's like it's just like it's come out of someone's pocket it's amazing the condition and you know it's far world away from the toasties we, we usually find him but yeah absolutely stunning I'll get a picture of that right on this one and I, so I've said good morning to him and I've asked him how, what's it been like in the ground for the last 300 years and he uh, never said a lot but yeah this is uh, 1760 onwards this one to 1800 and something George III I reckon it's a half penny and uh, the Brita it's going to clean up quite well because you can see the Britannia there see it so we've gone back 300 years or so maybe but yeah it's a good start well i just had this one up and i thought i'd film it with my iphone because it comes out a little bit clearer but um we think it's a french jetton i'm not sure i'll just um show you the back of it but it's a bloody lovely coin i don't i don't think i've ever found one like this before yeah so there you go Look at that for a beauty. And then on the other side, and we've got like a shield. But yeah, so we think it's a French jet, but 13, 1400 maybe. Anyway, exciting times. On to the next. This is a nice little piece here. Um, beautiful little thing. Look at that. That's really nice. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's a brooch of some sort, but um, it's not silver and it's not broken, but it's a really nice decorative piece. Anyway, moving on. Well, I'll try and get on to doing some live digs later, but I've had just, just had this little bit of pot up which is quite nice and, and quite encouraging actually. That could be going back to any time. But yeah, nice bit of pot. <clears throat> See if I can find the rest of it. Well, I think today is definitely artifacts are us. Look at this blimmin' great thing. It's quite a nice design, don't know what's off. Holes on the top there, go on the summit. I don't know, hook? Odd. Anyway, no idea. If you know, let me know. Back on the uh, half pennies now. So, uh, yeah, got a Georgia 6 half penny. I think it's 1948. Can't quite see it. 
but you can see the uh, whatever his thing is, Cutty Sark, is it? <laughs> and uh, him on the back. So yeah, not too bad. A coin's a coin, as they say. Oh well, it's not what everybody wants to see, but um, just had a bit of a uh, cack up. There's some markings on it, but it's not silver. It might be plated, but that's about it. Yeah, spoon. Well, we're back on the uh, musket balls at the minute. Here he is, uh, a bit bigger than that pistol shot. But I probably think he's the other side of this hedge, over here somewhere. So, uh, yeah, there must be something about, but what? I don't know, it's a bit dead at the minute, but yeah, I think it'll pick back up. I'm just gonna get rid of my, some of my hedge fodder a minute. Excuse me. Oh, just had a button up, look at that. And the back of it goes back to sort of 16, 17 hundred, you can tell. I don't know what they're called, these buttons, but yeah. Well, look at the condition of that. Look at the sort of uh, pattern on it. Lovely. A beautiful button. And I also found a roller as well. Uh, what roller it is. Got a lot of patina to it, but it's a roller. And it was right next to the ring, so I thought it was going to be another roller. But no, we just got one roller. And I thought that roller might have been a ring, but it's not. Anyway, roller, button, button, roller. Lovely. Yeah, just had a nice buckle come up, like a little shoe buckle or sock buckle or something. Um, I don't know if there'd be a pin in that, but yeah, nice little buckle, good condition. Um, come up on a good signal as well. Yeah, pleased about that. Always like them little buckles. Oh, just had another little toasty up, so to speak, but it's, um, you can see it. It's a, uh, I don't know if you can see that, I've got a picture of it as well, so I'll post that up after. Um, it's a George II, he's pointing to the left. Um, and you can see the Britannia on the back. But yeah, that's like quite old, that's sort of 1750s-ish, something like that. So we are sort of coming across some age here. Got a few more musket balls up and buttons and such and bits and pieces and more toasties, but um, I'm sure something's gonna come up at some point. I don't know what, but I got that feeling. Well, the excitement was just too much. I, I don't know if you remember me saying, I think some good's gonna come up. Here we go. So it's a Lizzie Hammered. Shilling, lovely. Uh, 1572. I'll take some pictures. The bus's a bit knackered, but they always are. But anyway, lovely. Nice little hammered coin. Um, not even finished yet, just still uh, looking over this area. Well, the goodies are coming up now. Look at this for a button. I don't think we've ever had one punched around the side like that. Lovely. And, uh, the shank's intact. Perfect. Anyway, on to the next button, I reckon. Well, look at this one, another nice coin. Uh, 1934 penny, I think it is. And um, I think that's George V again, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is, it's George. Anyway, in good nick, and the good thing over here is um, all the coins have come up in pretty good nick, have you seen? But anyway, yeah. 1934 penny, on to the next. We've had a few of these in the past. It's a gunpowder cap measure. And uh, yeah, it's a bit squished, but yeah, that's where you used to get the gunpowder in there, measure it, put it in the cap, bang. And uh, the next one is an uh, old lead weight. It's been filled, this one though. Don't know why that was done, but anyway, it was. <laughs> anyway, on to the next. Well, thanks for watching that. Uh, I didn't get to uh, finish the outro uh, when we left the dig yesterday, um, but we had three hammers up and all um, on some other bits and pieces. Um, whilst we have our trinkets and relics, and it was a really good permission, and we got to go back, and there's lots more land there. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the videos, please uh, subscribe and like, and as I said before, comment on anything you see, and. Uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next hole, dig, or whatever we get up to. And uh, I'm just going to put a bit of bonus footage on a coin I found the day before, which would have been Wednesday. But I didn't want to put it on this video because uh, it's cheating. But anyway, it's one for you. Have a little look. Well, I'm filming this one now. Um, I'm up out on a little permission in Somerset. And I thought, well, I'm not going to film tonight. But um, that pops this, look at this. That is a beauty. 
I had one of those um, last week or the week before. Um, but if you see this on a clip, or if I thought it's going to be on a clip, um, it's just, look at that. That's that's what we all strive for, isn't it? Absolute stunning. Um, up on the Mendips again. But yeah, I'll add it onto a clip. Um, didn't really want to. I, I should have filmed tonight, but never mind. Just a bit, you know. That's just gorgeous. Anyway, I'll take a few pictures too. But yeah, beauty.